Okay, this next one is going to be a bit of a big one, so um, we're going to start straight away. We're going to do this as a fresh. Okay, so we're going to do a new item class. And this one is the config. Now, what I would suggest with this one is that you keep uh, a version of the config separate or download the one from GitHub. Um, notes well, obviously going to be in the uh, description but um, you can literally copy and paste this for any plugin that you want okay so the first thing that we need to do is we need to include a dependency on this one because I like to use the JSON properties uh, so we're going to use uh, using and then it's called Newtonsoft dot json okay god my phone's going off all the time okay so this is our new dependency Ooh. Hmm. this is our new dependency um, and then we're going to continue as normal so we're going to do name space and it's going to be an oxide dot plugin um, and then we're going to include our stuff in here. We're going to do our info, as we did before, info. Um, and we're going to call this the config, because that's what I've called it. Then we're going to put me as the author. And then we're going to go 0.0.1. .0 We're going to write our class as the uh, config. config, and it's going to be a Rust plugin. I know everything's changing to um, conveyor and stuff, but yeah. Okay. <sighs> this is the big one. Okay. First of all, let's um, declare our. Config. So I'm going to go private config data capital C capital D and I'm going to call it config data with a capital D. Okay. And then we're going to write a new class which is called config data capital C capital D. And then we're going to make some brackets. Okay. In this area now, we're going to write um, what we want our config to be. So it could be a string, integer, bool, you know, a u integer, uh, u long, uh, vector three, a list, whatever. Okay. And we're going to set up a string. So it's going to be a public string, and I'm going to call it rep. So the string name is now rep. Okay. And uh, this is the reply that is set in the config. And we're going to close it off. Okay. If I load up this plugin and it creates a config, then that config will just have the word rep. It will literally look like rep. Oops. <laughs> it will look like rep is equal to or equals and then this is the reply in the config, which is kind of pants. So what I like to do is I like to use the JSON properties. So JSON properties, uh, JSON property, singular. And then we're going to go property name, property T name. Thank you. Um, and then we're going to go reply reply oh god I can't type today reply message okay now for some reason um, my system doesn't like having uh, the JSON stuff it just it always co comes up as an error okay but it's something that we can live with for some reason it's also automatically added the unity engine which isn't needed you can see it's Gray compared to this one, which is white, which is being used. So 
it does need to be there, but whatever. Okay. Um, so anyway, now that we've done this, it will look like reply message. 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 And then it will say equals this is the reply, blah, 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 in the config. There we are. Let's uh, keep everything tidy. Right. So, now that we've done that, let's do the uh, private pool. Private pool. And it's going to be called uh, load config variables. Variables. Okay. And this is an important one. So we're going to do a try. We're going to see if config data config oops config data is equal to config dot read object and then we're going to go for uh, config data with capitals doesn't matter if you don't understand it all this is doing is trying to read it and uh, if you can't read it then we're going to, uh, re well, to replace it. Okay, so we're gonna return false. Return false on this. Um, otherwise, we're going to say uh, save config config uh, config data. Okay, I'm gonna do a uh, return. Okay, so as you can see now we've got an error under save config and that's because we haven't actually written the save config. Okay. So that's not that's something we don't need we don't need to panic about that. Okay, we're gonna go to the end of this one and we're going to put in a new line and we're gonna do void init. So once it it runs, once the uh, the plugin um runs we're going to ask if um, the load variables is false load uh, load config variables there it is um, yeah and we just need to close that off so if it's false we want to uh, put on our message puts uh, config data config do it properly config file uh, issue detected um, please delete file all check syntax That's my standard message. And then we're going to return. Return. Because we don't need to do any more than that. Okay. Now we need to just put in a uh, protected override. So let's. Where's my mouse? There it is. Let's uh, go down here. We're going to go uh, protected override. Override. Uh, void. And then we're going to do load default default config. There it is. Wow! Look at that. As soon as I went off that, it automatically loaded stuff in. We don't want that. Go away. There we are. <laughs> right. So we're going to do a puts just to tell what we're doing, and we're going to say create new config file. I don't know why I've done it in capitals again, but there we are. Boop. And we're going to say config config data equals a new con oop, config data capital C capital D. And then we're going to write save config again. Save config config and we're going to put config 
data with a capital D. Boom. Okay. Still got that error on save config. Why have we still got that error on save, uh, the save config? Because I haven't written save config yet. So let's do void save config. And uh, in this void, we're going to have uh, config data. Config data. Capital C, capital D. And uh, config. As just lowercase. Okay. Let's uh, create that. And then we're going to write uh, config dot write object uh, config true because it's what we need it. Okay. So uh, quick look at this. This config here is the same as this config here. Okay. By sending save config, which is this, and then config data. What we're doing is we're setting this to this. Okay? If I change that to cheese, then this value here would be cheese. So when we go to save the config, it will say cheese here. Okay? <laughs> Bit weird. But anyway. Um, normally, I would do a uh, test with in-game chat, but I don't really want to open it up, so I'm going to do the console, uh, sorry, console command, and we're going to go, and we're going to say, uh, conf test, conf test, okay, so like we did before, we're going to make a command, uh, let's call it conf test here, let's just do a, um, uh, console systems, cons, System dot arg. Oops. Args. Okay. And uh, let's do this. Um, if I just do uh, puts, and in the puts I do config data dot rep. Close it off. That should work. So what we're doing is we're looking in our config data here for this. Okay. Let's give it a go. Let's save this. Let's uh, drop in the config. And let's see if I managed to do that without errors. I did. So we created a new config file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go over to my configs and I'm actually going to um, batch all of these into a new folder because um, I have a um, oops, I have an active server running. So uh, not video uh, configs. Okay, let's just select all. Besides that, just drop them in there. Right. We're going to reload this so I can uh, oh dot reload. Right, so there we go. Creating new config. So there wasn't a config there, because obviously I moved it. And uh, because of that, it created a new config. Okay, here's the config. Reply message. This is the reply that is set in the config. So if I do a command, which I set to be conf test in console. So here we go. Conf test. The reply that we get is this is the reply that is set in the config. There we are. Now what I would do personally is I would take from here to here and I'd keep that in its own little file. Okay, so that whenever you need to drop in a, um, a config into any of your plugins, you can take this, copy it in, and then all you need to change is what you're using in the config. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh, a bit of a big one there. Um, so let's move on to the next lesson.